Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel, hope you're all doing well, welcome to my new subs. Um, so today's reading is what's their karma for hurting you, okay? Um, so for group one we have the card, the summoning. For group two we have the owl messenger. And for group three we have fierce loyalty. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, don't force anything. Um... And if it's not your pile, choose another pile. If your reading is not here, I have a playlist with so many karma readings. You can have a nosy over there. So anyway, I'll see you at your groups. Hey, group one. Um, so if you chose the summoning card, before we get started, okay, I'm going to look into um, what this person did very quickly and then we're going to what's their karma. I am going to leave timestamps down below so if you don't want to listen to what the person did you can skip straight to the karma but I wouldn't recommend it because you don't know whether this is your actual like actually your reading okay whether it resonates or not but if you're not really bothered go ahead and skip to that and also <laughs> um I did post on the community board so if you want to take a nosy over there of what reading you would like to listen to next there's going to be a top three so you can go over there and just select whatever one that you're interested in listening to so let's get started group one <laughs> so anyway you've got the summoning card now you know group one i don't know something just came through here okay i don't know whether one of like one of you maybe one of you um Maybe some of you, you know when you manifest something or you do some like can, like candle magic or, or magic or whatever you to, to meet the one, you know, to meet the love of your life or find love or whatever you. I've got a funny feeling that you summon this person in a way. Maybe it was just literally your faults. Um, but I'm looking at that. I think that's a dragon. This is a dragon snake, whatever that is. But it's like, even though you summon this person, it's not exactly what you were expecting. So you're like a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's that kind of thing that I'm seeing here as well. It may literally be as well. I don't know why I'm getting here that maybe you was protected from this person. I'm also getting here as well because this could literally be like, our, our, you know, talents, our hidden talents you know creativity that kind of thing and you know maybe when you were with this person group one that creativity may have been stolen or you know copied stolen whatever or it was you couldn't create while you were with this person okay because maybe this person had a way about them that you may have to hide it or you, you wasn't allowed you know and get in relationships like that or it could even be parents or whatever so let's let's take a look Okay, so we're going to have a quick look. Um, what did this energy do to group one? Please, Spirit, so tap me into group one. What did this person do to hurt group one? So we have the six of wands. Yeah, six of wands. And there's that, there that is, that creativity that I just said. And the ten of cups in reverse. Mm, interesting. And look, the Ten of Pentacles. So, was this someone that was in competition with you? <clears throat> was this someone that literally stole an idea here, may have got a promotion over you? You know, um, you know, I said about summoning here, you know, maybe it was even you trying to summon, like bring in when we want to manifest something, you know, like a, a better paying job or a better career or whatever, it could have come with some consequences or, you know, with a bit of the dark side. Because if we don't, sometimes if we don't make our intentions clear, we can tend to attract the wrong people and the wrong situations. It's happened to me. <laughs> but anyway, so this could have literally affected your Ten of Pentacles. This could have been a family member. Now, the Six of Pentacles, uh, the Six of Wands is all about victory, okay? Being awarded for something, it's recognition, it's being the boss, it's it's promotion, it's achieving something. You know, when you're sitting on top of the world, or you feel like you're on top of the world. And then we have the Ten of Cups here. Oh, what happened here? The 
Th whoever this is that hurt you, it caused failure. Failure in your life where, you know, that we couldn't achieve anything. Now, we could be looking at a relationship here, group one. It may not be work. It may be relationship. You take what resonates here. We do have the Ten of Pentacles here, but because of the cups being here, like I said, it just could literally be something that you um, may have wanted to start for yourself. Someone may have stolen this idea, put you off, you know, that kind of thing. Or it could have been a relationship where, you know, this person may have interfered and you broke up with this person. Okay, because the Ten of Cups in reverse does talk of a broken home, a divorce, a separation, unhappiness, you know, um, and we do have the two here together, which clarifies both cards. Let me clarify this Ten of Cups before I move on. What is this Ten of Cups in reverse? What was this? Wow, the fall. The fall. This was a, a fresh start, a new beginning. Maybe there's something here that... Okay, I keep repeating myself. Like I said, Taylor resonates here. Career, relationship. It may have even been both, okay? You know, but what I'm seeing here is sometimes the fall is all about taking a risk. And even though we're scared to take that risk, we, we don't care. We take that leap, okay? And we trust in the divine or whatever. And usually it works out fine. So like I said, it could have been maybe, you know, getting into a relationship with someone. Maybe even taking your relationship to the next level, like marriage, that kind of thing. It could have been a career here, like a like a wanting to start something here and this person told you not to do it. You may have listened to this person. This person may have literally told you, oh no, you're taking a risk here, it's too risky, don't be silly, you're being reckless, you're being careless, you know, that kind of thing. So it caused you to do something reckless. And that literally could have been like, you know, maybe to end a relationship, or not take the relationship to the next level or not going into, uh, you know, going in, starting up a business idea that you had or going for that job or that position in your job, if you know what I mean. So this, I feel like this may just be, hang on, who is this person to group one? It's someone to do with work. Okay. Yeah. Someone to do with work. We've got uh, death as well. Death and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Have you noticed all your cards are coming out in reverse? Because, you know, this person may have literally heart played on the fact that you may have um, insecurity issues, okay? We all have those insecurities. Not all of us are confident. And... Because you lacked confidence here, you may have confided in this person or this person may have noticed that and pried, like, preyed on that insecurity of yours, group one. Because, like, with the eight of pentacles like this, it's like, it's a, com a confidence thing. It's someone who wants, is very ambitious, but yet doesn't... <laughs> lacks the confidence to do anything about it maybe you trusted this person and this person literally knocked your confidence down you know maybe made you you feel less confident you know played on that that's what i'm seeing and this death card in reverse this is like literally um fear of new beginnings an inability to literally move on okay an inability to make that change but it wasn't something that you did. It was something that someone that preyed on your vulnerability and your doubts and your insecurities. And, and they ran with this. And I feel like they took your ten of pentacles. And spirit will see that as a as a, as a big no-no. I feel like spirit took that as a big offence. Um, you were guaranteed something here, group one. Guaranteed. Literally, all I can, can hear is guaranteed. And you missed out on that opportunity because of this person. 
So the only star sign I can see at the moment is um, Scorpio. I mean, maybe this energy here, group one, uses uh, dark magic, okay, the occult to, you know, to get ahead of other people, you know, maybe they use tarot um, to find out information on people, maybe they abuse divination, you know, so let's get the karma now, I mean, I'm not being funny, I've started your pile, my chest is hurting, you know, when you get a sharp pain in your chest, I don't know whether this this is like literally your anxiety, like how you know I said to you that you guys then there is a vulnerability about you guys, you know, this confidence thing, and I feel like maybe you guys and I don't know why I'm hearing panic attack. I mean I only ever had a, a panic attack once once in my life and that was about five years ago and Jesus Christ, I thought I was having a heart attack. I don't even know where it came from. I think it was just everything just built up. Um so that's what I'm seeing here, like a panic attack. I'm getting the pain in my chest as well. And I think you you get so anxious and I feel like this energy here causes this anxiety. I feel like it's a work environment, group one. This is someone that you knew at work and maybe you trusted them. So we're going to start with tarot first and then we'll go to the oracle card. So take me into group one, please, Spirit, and tell me what is the karma for this person that hurt group one what is their karma what is group uh the for group one what is this person's karma chariot okay interesting so we're at the chariot in reverse so we have cancer Whoa. nine of cups i love to see that especially and the star, wow. Okay, that says a lot. <laughs> I'm all about karma. I'm sorry. Some of you might, might not like me saying that, but you know, as I said before, we can't we can't wish bad karma on someone. You just you clock up the uh, karma points, as I call them. <laughs> you know, we all do it. Um. And we have Aquarius as well. This is this is something major. This person, it may be happening now, but when it happens, this is going to be, it, this is going to have a big effect in this person's life. You know, this this person might end up scarred from this. Okay. Um. So chariot in reverse. This because this person is so forceful, like maybe in their opinions, the way they are, blah blah blah. This this energy here. Um, there is something here where they're going to, you know, when you're just going around, I'm seeing this person going around and around in circles. It's like they they don't quite know. Um, how can I explain this? It's like somebody just wandering through life and not really having anything going for them. You know, there's, there's like, maybe this is an energy group one that thrives on, getting one up on someone okay and it's getting to the point now where karma's like do you know what because you are so forceful and opinionated and you're manipulative and all that that comes with it we're now going to make you just wander like life doesn't really have a meaning i hope i'm explaining that we may see this person um having car trouble as well, even down to the point of trigger warning, car accident as well, okay? That's what's coming through here. Now the wish card, we have two wish cards that have come out here, group one, and they've both come out in reverse. So this person may have been able to manifest or manipulate their their wishes here with, with the occult, you know, black magic, whatever. It's not working no more. There is con There is consequences to messing around with things that you shouldn't be messing around with because you know you may do a spell that um brings you a million pound right but then there's consequences that comes with that so it doesn't usually last it's like you pay it back tenfold and if you guys are into the occult some of you that, that do watch that does watch my channel um some of you do 
use good magic we all you know if you do do this you know what i'm on about okay so anyway we've got the two wish cards here and what i see with the nine of cups in reverse because of this person's greed they're not going to be able to manifest their dreams okay they're going to be experiencing something quite devastating i mean this is dev devastating shattered dreams it's like you know when you see a glass broken like broken mirror broken glass and then the star card this star card talks about um, your wishes coming true for a very, very short time and it doesn't last long. It's like as soon as you got that wish, spirit is going to snatch it away. So it's like a tease and this person's going to be like literally stuck, stuck in their circumstances, stuck in going around. Like, I'm surprised the wheel hasn't come around, like come out. And that's what I was trying to explain at the beginning, group one, where you, like I said about you, may have tried to manifest something here. You've really, really wanted something like like a pay rise or a promotion. It was something to do with work. Um, even like even if it was an idea, group one, you, you had that snatched away from you. It's quite sad, really. Um, I'm on about for you guys because I'm sure we've all had that done. Well, most of us anyway. Right, let's get some oracle cards. <clears throat> so trigger warning. These cards are quite harsh, okay? So just letting you know now. So that means group one. What is the karma for this person that hurt group one? What is their karma? Whoa, whoa. Betrayed. Yeah, because they betrayed you, okay? I always see karma's like for like. Weight gain. Physical pain. Someone will try to unalive you or unalive them. I think that's a bit harsh, like. I'm going to you never know, isn't it? Because we've got betrayed and we've got that there. So what is this person's karma? So somebody could be spying on them. Maybe they've got a stalker ex or something. Wow, bad luck. Now, I was just saying to you guys about these two cards here. These are the wish cards. You know, when we make a wish, when we shuffle in the cards, it comes out. It's guaranteed that your wish is going to come true. I've always seen it like that anyway. And then we've got bad luck for this person. We've got hospitalized. Now, I did say something about an accident, car accident. Oh, Wow. Blocked from spiritual help. And that literally could be because of what they're summoning here. It could be, like I said, Spirit is not happy with the fact that, that, that the Ten of Pentacles was guaranteed for you. It was yours. And this person took it from you. What else? Gay for pay. Okay, everyone to their own. Maybe that's what they're, you know maybe they're having to do something like that caught up again with police a couple more and depression okay so what is this person's karma for her in group one constant stress and anxiety right was I picking up okay I said about the pain in my chest it's gone now and some of those times you can either pick up, I can either pick up your energy or their energy, it depends. So was I picking up your past energy or this person's energy right now where you're, this person's really, really stressed? So this is part of their karma. Oh, here we go. Inability to find happiness in life. What did I say about this person? I just see them wandering. You know, there's no meaning. Life has no meaning. That's the that's the saying that I was looking for. Inability to experience joy. Group one. What is this person's karma for her in group one? Um, feeling feeling isolated or alone. Persistent feelings of fear or or of, sorry, persistent feelings of fear or dread. Karma for this person. 
experience severe mood swings. This person's karma. Oh, blimey. Feeling powerless or out of control. If you notice, this is, tends to be their um, their stress levels because, I mean, if they literally put you through so much stress here, Group 1, I'm not surprised. Being stuck in a cycle of poverty. Okay, interesting. Because we do see devastation. Like, pure devastation. Something... I said to you guys that it's like spirit is giving this person for another example like a million pound and then the next week that million pound will all be gone and it's like a game at the moment I mean I know karma's not a game but it just seems to be a game like we do have no spiritual protection so we've got uh, being stuck in abusive situations as well and then we have reoccurring nightmares. And this could literally be part of their karma group one is the fact that, you know, because they've hurt so many people, this could be part of their karma. I do want to get mine. I haven't used mine in a while. I need to get these printed. I'm so lazy. Hang on. Group one. I've been meaning to get these printed. Ugh. Okay. So, what is this person's karma for her in group one? What is her karma? Blimey. Really? You know what? Let's do it. Obviously came out for a reason. So, abandonment, which we do have in here about them being on their own. They will, they will be put into a third party situation. So maybe this is like, it don't have to be like, you know, relationship wise. It could literally be, you know, work situation. They will never marry. Now, for some of you, like I said at the beginning, I do believe this is more so with work. But then, like I said, it could have literally interfered and stemmed into your home life, like your relationship. And maybe things went wrong in that as well. So this is for some of you here, okay? Um, they were age quickly, which we do have weight gain, dishonesty in, in their relationship, smelly bits. <laughs> oh, never mind. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Where is it? So, blocked from spiritual help. And no spiritual protection. That is a really strong message that's coming through here. You know, and sometimes we all have our spirit guides around us, group one. But sometimes, especially if we're dealing with something like this, that spirit guides will literally, or your ancestor or whoever you believe in, will take a step back and not do anything until the lesson is learned. And then can't pay their bills. And so let's get you an angel number, my loves, and then we'll ask a question, any question you want to ask. So for group one, please, spirit. Oh, that was quick. Bloody hell. So we've got 5252, angel of inner peace, Salafel. So this, you know, maybe you're at, at this stage, group one, of finding inner peace, okay? Maybe hearing about this person. Sometimes it does bring us a little bit of peace, even though we don't wish that on anyone. But anyway... So, Selafel bestows tranquility upon your soul. Dive deep within. Find your inner calmness and let serenity become your guiding force. Calmness, balance, serenity. Um, so, ask a question, group one. Any question you want to ask, ask now. So, for group one. Okay, you've got two. So it's up to you. You can affect the outcome by taking the initiative to push through your obstacles. And then you have when the healing is done. Healing is hard. Be there for yourself and others without judgment. Hmm. So my loves, thank you so much for staying and watching. I do appreciate you all. Um, if you're new here, please consider subbing if you like this content. 
Um, and don't forget, guys, go over to the community uh, board and choose a reading that you want to listen to next. And guys, wherever you are, you have a beautiful day. Much love. Hey group two, so before we get started, um, some of you don't like listening to what this person did, so I'm going to leave a timestamp down below, you can skip straight ahead to the karma reading, the karma part of the reading, um, I wouldn't recommend it though because you don't know whether this is your story, but you know what you guys, you do, do you, okay, no problem there, and also group two, um, if you go over to uh, the community board, um, I did post what you want to listen to next you know have a little selection have a little nose pick what you want so anyway let's get started i can't even talk <laughs> i hope that made sense god's sake anyway so with this energy here group two i don't even know what did i say group one i hope i didn't i'm not really getting much from this card other than you're going to hear something that's going to make you very happy so this is a karma reading so maybe you're going to hear something that um whatever this person did to you is gonna make you feel a little bit better about yourself you know about the situation so let's have a look because this is a message a message you may already be seeing maybe messages like like from spirit that something's coming but anyway let's tap into group two please spirit and tell me what did this person do to hurt group two so we're gonna do that do that very quickly Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups. What did this person do to hurt Group 2? Um, that's the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay. The Three of Swords in reverse. Okay. I just went, I don't know whether you heard that. Um... The reason why I went <laughs> with the Knight of Wands because Knight of Wands is seen as, as someone that's very flighty, okay? They're not someone you can rely upon in a relationship, okay? One foot in, one foot out, in and out energy. Very unfaithful, okay? Did I say promiscuous? That kind of thing. Um, this is someone that is lacking, basically. And I know it sounds quite sad to say it like that, but that they, they, there was something lacking about this person. Now, the Three of Swords is my third party card. Third party, but it can also be, it may not even be a third party, but it does clarify the Knight of Wands. Um, so basically, this could have been someone that may have stepped out of the relationship on you. Okay, group two. So this person caused your, you know, heartbreak, an ending of a relationship. Um... A divorce, separation, maybe even depression. It's just heartbreak. And then the Four of Cups. This is someone who just never felt fulfilled. And I don't think it's even you, Group 2. I feel like just in general, this person, no matter what anybody does for this person, it's just not, there's nothing that can fill this hole that's within this energy right here. Didn't I say lacking? I didn't either. So that, that might be what I was on about there with because I said, I've just heard lacking. So maybe that's what they're lacking is ab, ab, uh, empathy. You know, having compassion for others. So I see this is a situation here with an ex that really did break your heart and you may have been in a very dark place where it's nothing interested you. You know, you may have taken to maybe drinking to maybe cover up the the pain hopefully you guys are better now um so let's move on okay so we do have leo aries sagittarius now let's get the karma actually bear with me i know i said i was going to be quick i do something's bugging me spirit saying just clarify this three of swords in reverse for me thank you okay eight of cups now that's unusual That's very unusual. I feel like it took you a long time to release this energy. 
because the eight of cups is when you walk away you know you've washed your hands you're done with it but what i'm seeing with the three of swords now no, i spirit wanted me to clarify this it's, it's it took you a long time to get to this position here of releasing this person and the three of swords like this is clarifying that you guys um finally overcame this pain or you're overcoming it okay it may still be fresh for some of you but you've overcome this pain you've overcome this depression you've overcome this grief and even though it was scary for you to move on you finally have moved on you know maybe you forgave this person multiple times and maybe what's going to make you happy is you know they say what goes around comes around you know so let's see whether this person's you know, might have a bit of a taste of their own medicine. So, what is this person's karma for hurting group two? Whoa. Hang on a minute. I have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Hmm, tell me about this Knight of Swords in reverse. This is someone that's out of their depth. Someone that, you know, was so reckless that something's not right here. Let's have a look. Seven of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Now, oh, let me just move that up, guys. Uh, six of ones, the full, ten of cups, nine of cups, and the chariot. And then we have judgment. I feel like this person has done something here and, you know, maybe they are being judged by other people. I just said about them doing something reckless here. And I feel like maybe this person so used to just being able to do what the hell they want and there's never any consequences because maybe you guys were a type, the type of like partners that would forgive their partner, you know, giving them another chance or whatever and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But this is what I'm seeing here, you know, maybe they stepped on toes that they shouldn't have stepped on and there's consequences for it here. I feel like they, whatever's happened here, there is a situation here because of the path that they, they, they chose to go down. There's a lot of people in this person's life that is starting to quit on this person because it's like they're not learning previous lessons they're not learning from past mistakes hence why i said i feel like this person is being judged quite harshly by a lot of people but but for good reason for good reason there is something here to do with was it a new relationship that this person you know if they did leave you for a third party here group two what's happening here is this new beginning they were you know you have the wish card as well and we have the chariot card i'm just seeing this energy right here that what is going to be affected is this ten of cups they're happy ever after their new beginning here and also work career wise is a problem as well So I'm seeing this person, because they they don't really put any effort into relationships, I feel like it's just always one-sided. Like I said, you know, this is not someone that you can actually rely on. So because they don't really, they lack the effort, they didn't really put the effort in, there is some, there is consequences that are happening in this person's life. It's just, um, this person's going to be experiencing failure, either failure in work, failure in their relationship here. There is recklessness that's happened here. This is what I'm saying. There is either they've neglected their duties, their family, and they've been so reckless and other people found out about it. 
because we do see gluttony here as well you know greed so whatever's happening with this person's karma it, they're experiencing devastation in i don't feel like it's one one area of their life group to feel like it's it's multiple areas of their life like family relationship work achievements even down to their car that come out in group one wishes you know when you wish for something because this is the wish card the wishes are not happening hmm. we have cancer yeah we have this cancer tell me spirit what is this person's karma for her in group two so karma. The moon. Despair. Their lies. Things that they've tried to keep hidden. Maybe even hiding their true self. This is coming out. Or oh, it's already come out. So this person's going to be going through... Despair. I feel like with this person group too, this is someone that is, is so used to just doing this to other people and just getting away with it and there's never any consequences for their actions and this is a time now where it's finally catching up with them. And I feel like that is what's going to make you happy here, you know. Maybe people, you know sometimes when you split up with someone and, and say the person cheats. And maybe people didn't believe you. Maybe they, they put blame on you. And it became very frustrating. It's like, you know, why is no one listening to me? Why is no one believing me? And it's like, Spirit saying, don't worry, you're going to be receiving some happy news soon. So let's get some Oracle cards, okay. So these ones, group two, are a bit harsh. If you've seen my um karma readings you'll know this um so for tap into group two what is this person's karma for her in group two so let's see with the oracle cards because i said i feel like it's every aspect of this person's life it's not just focusing on one area leaked sex tape so you know maybe there was someone that recorded something here and this was sent to this person you know and that you can't really get out of that really Unless you try and convince your person that that's not me in the video. So we've got surgery. Scandal. What does this person come? Oh my god, no, set fire to it. Uh, we have someone is trying to unalive them. That's quite harsh. Physical pain. Hidden enemies, interesting. Blocked love. Bad luck, that came out in group one as well. So that's like double the bad luck. Okay, let's take those. So death spells being done on them. I mean, maybe there's not no spells, but maybe it's, uh, oh, you never know. You never know. Oh, God, not again. So we've got unaliving. You know when someone gets really, you know, they're in this situation. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. So we've got prison. But that can literally be a mental prison as well. Saggy skin. So maybe this person's relied on their looks for a long time. And then we could have heart problems. Let's get these ones. What is this person's karma for her in group two? Feeling haunted by the past. That doesn't surprise me, to be honest. Strained relationships. Now, I did say there is a lot of people judging this person, and there may be strained relationships now, you know, even with their family members. Frequent accidents or mishaps, which we do see. Physical pain. Feeling out of place or disconnected. God, wow. Chronic physical pain without medical cause. Now, we see them holding their back in this picture as well, like physical pain here. So 
Hmm. Unexplained anxiety or panic attacks. Unable to rest peacefully. Being stuck in a cycle of poverty. Let's get one more of these and then I'm going to use mine because I haven't used mine for a while. This is person's karma for hurting group two. Okay, so you have experiencing frequent conflict. Wow, feeling unfulfilled or empty. Now, what did I say that this person is lacking something? There's something missing, you know. There's a there's there's a there's an empty feeling to this person. They're never fulfilled. I said that right at the beginning. Um, and then we've got experience a series of, of unfortunate events. Now, I said this person's going to be experiencing devastation. Like, yeah, it's the only word I can think of, devastation. Let's get mine. So what is what is this person's karma for hurting group two? Financial disaster. And I said about their funds, being left out, no invites. Maybe this person's being isolated. Oh, gold. So we've got nightmares, which that has come out. And then we have dreams will come true, but will quickly turn into hell. They will lose their home. Ghosted by friends and lovers. What is this one that's turned over in my hand? There's quite a few here. Hang on. People will stab them in the back. Now, we had that as well with them, Oracle cards. Uh, oh, my God. Why did I write in yellow? I'm such a donut. They will never get over the person they loved. So, this person may have genuinely loved maybe this person right here. And I'm sorry to say that group too. But, you know, it can happen. And then to have that snatched away... You know, this could be part of their karma as well because of what they did to you and maybe others as well because you guys love this person unconditionally. You know, your your heart was all in and this person really did affect you with what they did to you. And, you know, like for like, a big believer in that. No blessings from the divine being compared to others as well. You know, like maybe family members are like you know why can't you be like your brother or why can't you be like your sister they're not like that you know when you're hearing that you don't really want to hear it do you <laughs> but anyway let's get you an angel number group two so angel number group two 5151 angel of celebration an L. so an L fills your heart with boundless joy celebrate the small moments express gratitude for life's blessings and immerse yourself, immerse yourself in the in the festivity of existence, joy, gratitude and festivity. Now, I did say you're going to be happy about something that you're going to hear and maybe you're going to be grateful for that. Maybe you're grateful where you are today. Maybe you're going to hear about this and then you're going to be like, you know what? Because I'm over it, I had a lucky escape. You know. So, question time group two. Ask any question you want. So, for group two, please, spirit. you've got two in the fall leaves can leaves can show you how beautiful it can be to let go of what is dying and then in a few months which literally is only a few months oh no hang on are we in the fall no we're not we're still summer here um to the end of october i think in a few months so trust your inner voice your intuition will be your guiding force so my love thank you so much for staying and watching i do appreciate you all and don't forget to go you know if you want to go over and nosy over on the community board and choose a reading that you you know you want to hear next um and if you're new here and you like my content please consider something i'd love to have you you guys wherever you are you have a beautiful day much love hey group three so if you chose fierce loyalty before we get started um just to let you know um because some of you don't like to hear what happened um you can skip ahead to the timestamp, which i'm going to leave down below um, straight to the karma but i would recommend that you do listen to it guys because um listen to the reading listen to it 
<laughs> listen to the reading because you don't know whether it's your reading or not but you know you guys do you and also i posted over on the community board you know um what reading do you guys want to listen to next so go over there have a little nosy choose what you fancy and it'll be the top three so anyway let's get started so group three what i see with this energy right here this person that hurt you you are the type of person that literally show fierce loyalty to this person. You are loyal down to the, you know, down to the T, okay? And I'm seeing here that whatever this person did to hurt you, group three, that wasn't the case with this person. So maybe you thought this person was like, you know, loyal to you as well. And, you know, they weren't. So let's have a look. So what we're going to do, start off quickly of what they did. And then we'll go into the karma. So tap me into group three, please, spirit, and tell me. Well, what did this person do to hurt group three? Okay, Knight of Cups, interesting. So about the Knight of Cups. Oh, the lovers in reverse. It's literally what I just said, loyalty, you know, it doesn't even, have, it didn't even have to be a relationship, it could literally have been friendship as well, so you can, it can be friendship, it could be romantic, but I am seeing this as being more romantic, guys, because we have the Ace of Cups, and we all know what the Ace of Cups means, you know, you're really committed, you're loyal, you know, you're 100% invested in this relationship, you're in love, this may have been like, you guys could have been married or, or engaged, you know, you... You were committed to your partner. And I feel like you were fiercely protective of this person. And then we've got the Knight of Cups. And this is, you know, the Prince Charming energy here where you, this is this is loyalty. <laughs> and the reason I'm laughing because you were loyal to this person and you assumed this person was loyal back. But then look at the lovers in reverse that is right there. In, in, and this is basically saying that this is maybe you had trust issues with this person there was an imbalance in this relationship and the imbalance was they were not loyal to you you know this could have been unfaithfulness could also be unrequited love that could have been what the loyalty is talking about here you know where you were 100% in love with this person this person and I'm really sorry to say it, group three wasn't in love with you you know tell me about this love is in reverse and just Okay, Father Cups, I don't have to go on. We can see what's going on here. Three of Cups, third party situation here. So they could have left you for somebody else. You know, it could have even been a friend. So we could have two things going on here for your group three. Um, but the Five of Cups is rejection. It's a... No, it's a very sad card. It's loss, it's regret, it's grief, feeling unloved. This is the energy that you, uh, that this person put you in. But, you know, we can look at this as well that maybe friends that you had, because I am saying had, not have, weren't loyal to you. Dan, why is this coming through quite strongly? Down to the point, group three, that they knew about your person doing the dirty on you with someone else and they covered for this person. So the friends that you thought were loyal, you know, weren't, and your partner, same thing. So I feel like it wasn't just one thing that happened with you, group three. It was a multiple of things that happened and the people that you trusted and loved in your life just devastated you. Great people. Okay. So what is this energy's karma for her in group three? What is their karma? Seriously. Seven of wands. Nine of cups in reverse. That's come out in every pile. Full. The knight of swords. And the chariots come out in every pile as well. Ice of swords. The ace of swords is, is about truth. 
so maybe the truth is going to come out about what this person's really like you know their true their true face you know Part of this person's karma is there was, you know, if they did leave you for someone else, there is there is competition in that relationship. There may it may have already happened. Okay, this person, I see them having to go it alone on their own because it's not working out the way they thought it was going to work out. So, you know, maybe these friends and this person that they got involved with, this person's going to be abandoned or backstabbed as well. Group three, because I am seeing devastation here with the nine of cups. Like I said, this has come out in every pile. This is the wish card. So this is this person not really, they're not getting any wishes. So no matter what they wish for, it's not happening. So we're, we're, we're talking about shattered dreams, um, devastation, bad luck, you know. And it is because of their, their, their foolish ways. I mean, the fool, we can see the fool, we can talk about the fool in so many different ways, but this is like me seeing them as being foolish, you know, negligent or, or reckless, okay? Th this person, I feel like, does have a reckless energy here, and this new beginning that they were getting, it's not happening here. I mean, look at the way she's smirking as well, this person here. This is the Knight of Swords. This is them being reckless. They rushed into a situation, head, head what would you say head first because you would use your head wouldn't you more so feet first and this is part of the consequences here is the fact that um their recklessness is going to backfire there's a change so they could have problems with their car this has come out in every reading as well maybe travel plans are going to be cancelled as well maybe trying to move forward that's not happening neither give me a bit more please spirit we've got cancer we've got gemini libra aquarius what is this person's karma for her in group three five swords two of swords in reverse five of pentacles so we have five, 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 and fives is when you are going through something quite major in your life, like a, a whole upheaval, like it could be in any area of our lives. It can literally be just everything. So that's what I'm seeing for this person. So if you want information on five, 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 have a look it up on Google. You'll get more information on that. But what I'm seeing here with the five of swords, it's... um. This energy is trying to find a peaceful resolution, okay, trying to sort out, you know, maybe asking for forgiveness, trying to get back in with people and it's not happening. People are putting up boundaries now with this person. It's like they're being cut off. This energy's karma is experiencing a lot of delays, a lot of setbacks, maybe postponements. And maybe what's happening here is is there is a postponement in maybe a, some money that they've been expecting. They may have lost their job. This could be part of their karma. Kicked out of their home. Okay, we're seeing poverty here. Like on the bones of our arse. Hence the devastation. And maybe this person, because of their recklessness, group three, is, is um, burned their bridges with a lot of people. I mean, it wouldn't really surprise me if this person even tried to come back to you, to be honest. I don't know why that's come through. It wouldn't surprise me. This person's a bit cheeky. I don't feel like this energy's got any spiritual protection, neither group three, because we have the high priestess here. All their secrets that they've tried to keep hidden is is going to be they're going to be exposed so let's get some oracle cards so these oracle cards can be a bit harsh group three so if you're new here just a bit of a warning okay so what is this person's karma for her in group three what 
I don't know why I'm even hearing this person's having to stay in a hostel as well. You know, like, like YMCA or something like that. So we've got court case, heart problems. What is this person's karma? Um, unexpected, unalive. But look, we don't... We'd, don't have to look at this physically okay because i like to not interpret them like like that okay sometimes we could be seeing this as literally a physical not a physical death uh maybe it is um like a what is that word for god's sake i've gone blank you know when you have a, a just like a when you shed your old skin and God sake, what is that? What is wrong with me? Like a rebirth, that's the one, rebirth. And maybe this is what is happening to this person. Part of their karma is having to basically be born again. Mentally, emotionally, that kind of thing. Okay? Maybe someone close to them, you know, may have passed away. Practitioner, so maybe someone's put some dark magic on them, but it, it could be spirit as well. Their spirit guides, maybe yours, even car accident. I said something wrong with the car, didn't I? So this could be that, could be that car trouble. Could have the big C. We don't wish that on anybody. Look at this secrets exposed. It's what I said part of the karma is is things they've tried to keep hidden is going to be revealed look at that as well in habitable conditions this is what I'm saying i don't know something came to me like hostel ymca like just not very good living conditions okay so what is this person's karma for hurting group three experiencing unexplained phenomena that's very weird. I said about this practitioner, okay? We do know this is like someone that dabbles in dark magic, okay? Or sends over whatever towards this person. And then I said it may not actually be someone that's doing it. It could literally be spirit. And then we've got experiencing unexplained phenomena here. So, you know, maybe they're experiencing bumps in the night, you know? Ghostly things. Unexplained sadness or depression. What is this person's karma? Repeatedly being taken advantage of. Because, you know, if they took advantage of other people. This person's unable to rest peacefully. Persistent bad luck. Unexplained illness. Persistent health issues. And we do have the big C there as well. Oh dear. Feeling unwelcome or rejected, feeling cursed or jinx. And there it is again. So phenomena, feeling cursed or jinx. We do have practitioner here. So look, group three, I hope you're not doing this, okay? Because, you know, it comes back tenfold, okay? What you put out there, you receive back. So hopefully you're, you're you know, you guys are into the good light side of, magic or you know manifestations that kind of thing um let me get mine so because like i said it, the other groups i haven't used mine for a while what is this person's karma for her in group three what is their karma for her in group three Toxic relationships, valuables will be stolen, okay? Never getting over heartbreak. Now, they broke your heart. And I, I'm a, like I've said in the other groups, big believer of what goes around comes around and like for like in my eyes, you know? Arguments. Ill health. That's coming through really strong. I mean, three sets of oracle cards. Yeah. Lack of funds. That's clarified the tarot. Partner will not want to have sex with them. 
will not be able to forget you okay so maybe this person is self-aware that maybe it will click into place where like hang on a minute i really hurt hurt group three i did the um unthinkable to group three and this is you know I, I get it but there's you can't really get away with karma um yeah then we've got no doors would open for this person blocked intuition a crap sex life <laughs> sorry i shouldn't laugh um never mind All their secrets will be exposed. Look at that. That's, thank you for clarifying that spirit. That's the last tarot card that I put down. I said about this person's tried to keep like their secrets, like their true self, their true face being exposed. It's a, uh, it it's going to be exposed. Okay, this is part of their karma, and this is what I was saying about this um, rebirth, having to change who we are because you can't go through life just shitting on people and trampling all over them because you feel like you're entitled to do that or, you know, this is what I see this person doing. And look at this as well. We've got people who will talk shit about them. Oh, and that's clarified what I said as well. So tormented by spirit for the way they treated you. So maybe you've got powerful people in the afterlife group three. I know I'm going a bit deep here, but I'm a big believer in this. Um, that is literally stepped in and maybe messing with this person because it does happen. I mean, something very freaky happened to me a few weeks ago and this is just so, you can't explain it. No one can explain it. I don't understand it myself and neither does the person that it happened to because basically I had a falling out with someone three years ago, haven't spoken to them and I received a letter to my address don't ask me how that happened in it and i had to let this person know what was in the letter because it was quite serious and we met up we're talking sorting things out thank god because like you know i really miss this person but we still can't understand how i received the letter and i laughed and i said maybe it's one of my ancestors or even my father that's in the spirit <laughs> you know that's over on the other side that may have literally thought you know what enough's enough now there you go because she did double check with the hospital and they said no we've got your address so we don't know how that happened so things just i don't know things just happen i don't know for a reason unexplained things you know and maybe that's what's happening to this person maybe they're getting the message maybe they're not getting the message let's get you an angel number So angel number for group three. Wow, four, 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 one. I love that number. Angel, angel of justice, Regal. <laughs> Sorry, look at that. Look at that. So uh, Regal ensures that justice prevails. Act with fairness. Seek balance in judgments, and always strive for righteousness in your actions. Fairness, balance, righteousness. I can't believe you've got this angel group three. I mean, seriously, look at that. This is like fair, okay? This is justice at the end of the day. And what is justice as well in the tarot? It's karma. So, question time, group three. Any question you want to ask, Spirit, ask away now. So for group three. Okay. So, Whatever question you ask, group three, it says choose a new direction. There is something better out there for you. Make a conscious choice to step into your true path. Interesting. So, my loves, thank you so much for staying and watching. And don't forget, guys, go over to the community board. Choose a reading that you want to listen to if you fancy, you know. Um, and if you're new here and you like my content, please consider subbing. I'd love to have you and you guys, wherever you are. You have a beautiful day. Much love.